guys, so today I have swatches for you from the All Grinched Up collection from my brand Pamper Polishes. I have no idea where my intro went, so you do have just this beautiful picture of the six bottle shots that I took. These are available right now, so in the description box below I will link the site where you can pick them up. I will link my Instagram page and I will link my swatching Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from this collection. There are six polishes to look at today, so let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Christmas Already, ugh, and this is a berry red and it is full of silver holographic microflex as well as gold flakies and scattered hollow and then a green to red aurora shimmer. So here is our first coat of Christmas Already, ugh, and this has a jelly base so it is going to take some building up but the formula on this I believe is pretty good. It's very easy to work with, no running or pulling or anything like that. And you get a ton of these like glitters and flakies and it just looks like a beautiful speckled kind of appearance on the nail. This one also is going to dry slightly textured and dull so you'll want a glossy top coat to finish this one off but nothing in here should be difficult to remove or stick to your nails or make a mess or anything like that. This is completely opaque in two coats here for me. Depending on how you apply your polish and things like that, you might want to go in for a third coat, but I am working in relatively thin coats today across the board, so that really, I think two coats is pretty standard for this one. And this one is also going to benefit from a top coat to make it look much more holographic as well. So there's two coats. So up next we have Where Are You Christmas and this is a bubblegum pink base. It is also filled with those silver holographic flakies. This one does have matte white glitter, um, pink glitter, this has blue glitter, this has iridescent flakies, and a, a gold shimmer. Here's our first coat of Where Are You Christmas. And this one is more of a wash on the nail on the first coat than a super pigmented polish. I did that for the delicate pieces in this polish that require the, the more sheer base, otherwise they're just going to get lost in the color if that makes any sense. Here's our second coat and this builds up well in two coats. It's not opaque enough for me though, so I am going to go in for a third coat, but if you work in thicker coats than me, two coats would probably be just fine for you. Again, I believe the formula on this is pretty good. I didn't have any kind of running or pooling, not too thick or too thin, and those white glitters are pretty easy to place around. The blue glitters are on the more sparse side. I did that intentionally because they're just supposed to represent her eyes. I think I take things too literally when I'm making polish, but again, this is opaque in three coats. Like the last one, it's gonna dry a little bit dull and slightly textured, so you'll want a glossy top coat to finish this off. Nothing in here is super difficult to remove. These little red micro glitter might wanna stick to your nails a little bit, but it just requires a little elbow grease. I don't think you should need a peel off base coat for this one. So there is three coats. Up next we have Nothing to Wear and this is a yellowy gold and then it has iridescent flakes, gold micro flakes, it has matte white glitter and then it has a scattered hollow. Here is our first coat of Nothing to Wear. And just like the last polish, this one has more of a wash of color on the first coat as opposed to like a super pigmented polish. Again, I did that for the more delicate elements that are in this polish that you won't be able to see if it is in a more opaque base. But I believe the formula on this is pretty good, easy to work with, no running or pulling. This is also one that I wanted to make solely <laughs> for the purpose of being able to layer a chunky gold glitter in between coats and I love that look. Um, I know it's not for everybody but it's something that I was really missing in my life, so I love this one a lot. And this does build up nicely in two coats. I am going to go in for a third coat. So here's our third coat, and this does cover completely in three coats for me. Depending on your application, you may need to go in for a fourth coat if you work in thin, but I am working in thin coats today, and I am happy with the opacity in three. Again, you'll want a glossy top coat to finish this off, smooth everything out, make it look nice and cohesive, and nothing in here should be difficult to remove or stick to your nails. So there's three coats. Up 
Up next, we have a Euramine one, and this is a super bright green. It is definitely not color accurate here on the bottle shot. Um, it is full of gold flakes as well as iridescent flakes and a scattered hollow. So here is our first coat of your Amine one, and I promise this will be the last neon green that I release until summer. Um, but I do think this one has a good formula, good coverage. Nothing in here is too dainty, so I was able to make this one a little bit more opaque than the last couple polishes. This formula is pretty good. I think I have got the neon green formula down to a T at this point. Um, this one though, I should, you know, I should put a photo in here comparing the neon greens. They are all very different, um, in shade, but it is completely opaque in two coats for me here. Again, you get a ton of these little flakes out without having to do anything special. They all lie relatively smooth and even. It does dry on the dull side, so you'll want a glossy top coat for that reason, but nothing in here should dry textured. Nothing in here should be difficult to remove. And I didn't have any kind of staining with this one either. So there is two coats. Up next we have Whoville and none of these are coming off color accurate with the bottles. I'm so sorry about that. Maybe my actual swatches will. But this is a light blue base. It is filled with a silver um, micro flake as well as holographic micro flakes, matte white glitter, blue glitter, and iridescent flakes. So here's our first coat of Whoville. And the elements that are in here are more chunky, they're less dainty, so again I was able to make this one more on the opaque side. This one has a thicker formula than the rest of the ones that we've looked at. The Crelly thing tends to do that. Um, if you don't like that, you can work in thinner coats, but I am just working in a nice, normal first coat today, and I did have pretty good coverage. So here is our second coat, and this does cover completely in two coats for me. You will want a glossy top coat to finish this off because it dries dull and slightly textured. You might need two coats of top coat um, depending on how your glitters lie. If you work it a little bit, you can get them nice and even where you'd only need one coat of a top coat. You might want to do a peel off base coat for this one too because it is absolutely loaded with glitter. So there is two coats. And lastly for today we have Stink Stink Sunk and this is a black base and it has a green to blue aurora shimmer, scattered hollow and iridescent flakes as well as taupe and copper micro flakes. And here's our first coat of Stink Stink Stunk. Again, a wash of color on the nails on the first coat. It is going to build up nicely. This green shimmer I, I'm telling you, it was a pain in the butt. Um, I had a really hard time when I would add more black pigment, the green glitter or the green shimmer would just entirely disappear. So I'm not sure what I was doing differently, but um, this one is more on the sheer side. It is going to have to be built up. It does build up well in two coats. I am going to go ahead and show you what a third coat looks like today. The shimmer that's in here does now nicely stand out against the darker base. And the formula on this, I believe, is pretty good. I didn't have any kind of running or pulling or anything like that here either. This is completely opaque in three coats. You'll want a glossy top coat because it dries a little bit dull, and it'll help those holographic elements stand out much better if you have a glossy top coat for this one. Nothing in here is going to dry textured. It all should lie relatively smooth, and nothing in here should be difficult to remove either. Stick to your nails, make a mess on the skin, anything like that. So there is three coats.